All right, all right, all right. What's good, you scoundrels? Today, I'm putting Ben Simmons in the 1984 NBA draft to see if the guy who can't shoot would be good in the era where they didn't really shoot. At the very least, during his brighter days, Ben has been compared a lot of times to Magic Johnson, who's 24 years old and just won the finals MVP. So we'll see if Ben has, has anything to say about that. You know, draft lottery, Bulls, Rockets, and uh, Bullets win it. Bulls second, Rockets third. With the first pick in the draft, the Bullets like Michael Jordan. Second, Akeem Olajuwon goes to the Bulls. Third, John Stockton goes over Ben to the Rockets, almost like he's John Stockton. Fourth, Charles Barkley to the Hawks and I guess fifth Ben Simmons to the Dallas Mavericks all right that works sure why not he's an 81 overall he is listed at power forward from his draft card but I might change it if I feel like it or if it makes him start also Ben is more than likely the youngest player ever in NBA history right now with how you know he came out of high school and he fits in pretty well on this team at power forward so we'll just leave him there they also got Sam Bowie look at that what like a second first round pick I guess magic still is you know magic and Ben and not one rookie of the year was Akeem Olajuwon looks like he was the fourth best rookie alongside his teammate wait they traded sam bowie already it's first season ben averaged 15 points eight rebounds five assists and 49 percent from the field now the goal is just to ever get better than this but dallas is the third seed you know third uh only, only second only trailing the lakers and trailblazers and it's only a three game round so uh it, yep well there it goes ben did have two 25 point games in the last two games of the playoffs the issue is though they lost both of them hey, that's the end of that round magic wins finals mp again ben is an 85 overall after year one and they drafted patrick ewing how did the Mavericks manage the third pick in the draft? They had the New Jersey Nets pick. So uh, Dr. J's former franchise is fuming. And well, I guess that, wait, was that where Sam Bowie got traded by any chance? No. Okay. So they, they just had that pick. I don't know. I, I thought they traded Sam Bowie for that. That would have been treacherous. Hey, yeah, before we go any further, I want to shout out to Prize Picks. Prize Picks is the best place to play daily fantasy sports available in over 30 states. And if you use the code CLICK, you get 100% back of your first deposit up to $100. It's very simple to work. And here's how you do it Darius Garland, I think he's going to score more than 19 and a half points because he scored more than that in most of his last few games. Done. I take more and move on to the next player. I'm going to go ahead and say Max Schuess will not make three and a half threes against, uh, against Milwaukee. You know, good team. And whereas Gary Trent is normally getting two steals, Luca normally isn't getting two steals. He's only done it twice in his last five games. So I'm going to say that he gets less than a steal and a half lastly i'm gonna go with less for james harden on turnovers he hasn't he's only done this once in the past five games you know what last one screw it we'll go with scotty barnes more on that and you can put down 20 dollars. you get 10 times the amount of money with five correct plays two times with four thank you to prize picks for sponsoring this video remember to use the code click and click the link in the description for up to 100 dollars back 100 of your first deposit and now to get back into the video magic johnson most valuable player and carl malone rookie of the year with the kings ben simmons did not make any teams not even all defense and the mavericks were second best in the conference but that means that there's still 20 games behind the lakers ben's numbers were eerily similar to his first season and also his free throw percentage i never mentioned is 58 to 59 maybe if you want to round up and the mavericks have went down 2-0 and lost in four which is kind of weird to say i guess not because you, you could just lose in four in real life too but it's just a sweep ben yet again though had a good playoff run but uh they just lost i don't know what to tell you george gervin cook magic johnson a third straight ring maybe fourth i don't know how the ring i don't know he's got five championships so there's that he did not rob another other team's first round pick of anything we traded ours ben simmons is now i mean this is pretty promising an 89 overall at 20 years old that's probably higher than he's ever gotten in his real nba career thus far i mean i know he's had pretty like he's had some good seasons but you know not to mention i haven't even criticized mark aguire ever so far in his career has he had like bad playoff runs or something why are we losing oh uh, no he dropped 40 in this game but it was the only game that we won or no that's a lie actually i think i'm not lying this was this was a regular season game right here Let's see what ben's up to come on show me show me your skills i don't know what like that star looking thing under the players i don't even know how I got that there. Matter of fact, while I'm taking a quick intermission to see what Ben's up to and uh, how, how he's playing, hold on. Ah, can I show you something? A few days ago, I played a rec game. Like I just hopped in a random rec center game and look at the score. We went to five, no, three overtime. You see that fourth quarter? That, that's not the fourth quarter. That's all the OTs, 59 to 53. And I had 47 points lost by two. This is the most insane game I've ever played on 2K probably in a long time. Say so yeah, a random, uh, but yeah, Ben Simmons. I mean, I don't know why I got into shoot around when he can't even shoot around. This team should still have a pretty bright future though. Larry Bird said hello ben simmons all nba second team by the way magic johnson for no reason in the world left the lakers for the nuggets ben simmons just had a 47 point game against the suns who have been having it rough in real life so far recently uh but yeah that's obviously his career high i want to see if he's even had a game close to that a 30 point game even because holy hell he, it looks like he did not have a 30 point there i just saw 131 point game he had 131 point game and then a random 47 point outburst he's not the scoring type anyways but still what was going on 
one in that Phoenix. Also, for the record, he's actually a pretty solid mid-range shooter right now and has a 47 three-point shot still. Great dunker and finisher, and he's very fast for a power forward. 87 speed with ball to the normal 54 in this era. His perimeter defense actually isn't that good. His interior is great. His perimeter is better than average still, and his block, everything's better than average with him, basically, except for three-point shooting. That's basically the summary of it all. He also made the all-star team this year, and he has made a three, so we have that at least. He averaged 18 points, 10 rebounds, and seven assists, which are all career highs across the board, but uh, no all defensive teams. Like I said, I guess his defense isn't as good. We are better than the Lakers because they aren't even good anymore. They didn't even make the playoffs. The Nuggets, though, are a top four seed. First round, can we actually make it out? Sacramento took the first game, but we, okay, there you go. Finally, a first round defeat in our favor. Ben Simmons, 10 points to make it out. Perfect. Second round against Magic Johnson. This could always be interesting, and it will be. It's, uh, well, actually, wait, no, no, this, this, uh, this one goes to seven games. I forgot. And there it is. Defeat in six games in our favor yet again. Ben Simmons, 19 points to Magic Johnson, 16 in this last game. He's averaging 16 so far in the playoffs. And the final round against Portland, who the hell's on this team? Clyde Drexler, obviously, and Bill Walton's old self. Jesus, is he, did he ever leave? First game is a win. Second game is also a win. Third game is a loss. Another L. No way we go. Okay, there we go. And we're in the final. Playing the Washington Bullets, who are led by Michael Jordan. Well, this is definitely the matchup we've been waiting for. Now, I don't need, this is the thing with this video, is that I don't even know if it's worthwhile doing Simcast because it's Ben Simmons. Like, what is he going to do? But also, holy, we are cooking them. 4-0 sweep. Never mind. It was definitely not worthwhile this year. And Patrick Ewing is the finals MVP. Every game was far out of reach. Literally every game was 10 plus point wins. Specifically, the last game was a 26 point win. So uh, yeah, Ben Simmons, solid playoff numbers. And he gives Michael Jordan a finals L. How do we keep on getting high pick? Okay, we might be reaching uh, the point of, I don't know, realism as well. Ben is a 90. That's still good. But Patrick Ewing has lapped him and Ben has only went up one overall. So maybe he's reached his peak. Hakeem Olajuwon wins most valuable player on Chicago. Maybe we'll play him in the finals this year. Who knows? And I believe we're the team that's won 69 games. Ben Simmons makes the All-NBA third team. Also, uh, Patrick Ewing, nowhere on here, even though he won finals MVP last year. He's actually the only person from our team. He averaged 19 points, 10 rebounds, and 7 assists. Let's see. First round against Sacramento. Easy win. Second round. Oh, snap. Uh, second round. Another easy win. Third round against Houston. Another easy win. We're back in the finals against Philadelphia, who have Moses Malone and Dominique Wilkins to replace Dr. J. First game is going to be a loss. This series might be better. Ben had 25 points. Screw it. I'm a Simcast this year. Why not? Jordan wasn't no competition anyways. One hell of a sentence. We won by 30 points in this one. Another win. Ben Simmons had 30. We're up 2-1. Okay. Uh, maybe this series wasn't supposed to be close. I don't know. That's it. Back-to-back -back champion. And Ben Simmons wins finals MVP. At putting up 24 points, 12 rebounds, and 7 assists. And Ben Simmons has left the Mavericks. Of course. I mean, it's not out of his realm to leave the team where things are. I mean, I wouldn't say working in real life, but screw it. All right, Boyd Simmons. We weren't talking about you. Ben Simmons is a member of the Phoenix Suns. The team that he dropped 47 on, by the way. Maybe this is some sort of like challenge that he's taking for a year. For some reason, it says Ben went up another overall when he was already in 91. But all right. Mark Price is here, and so is uh, Reggie Lewis. And uh, that's that's not that bad of a core. Hakeem wins another MVP. Ben makes it to the All-NBA second team again. He averaged 23 points, 10 rebounds, and 6 assists. His least assist in three years on a worst team, but averaged great shooting. Uh, actually, awful from free throws still. I take that back. But uh, 23 and 10 and 6, not bad. Did he put up a new career high by any chance? Nope. Still holds the record of when he played Phoenix that one time. And Patrick Ewing dropped 51, which is the league leader in uh, points in the game this season. So there's that. And we did not make the playoff. The Phoenix Suns, nowhere to be found. 30 wins, which is like bottom seven in the league, I want to say. And the Mavericks just won another ring. This time, a sweep over Akeem Olajuwon and Chris Mullen and Drazen and John Stark. Screw it. Which is a very bad look for Ben's legacy right now, considering that they just didn't replace him with anybody and did this. Dwayne Gabriel retired. Wait, I, I didn't even see who we drafted. I just thought about that. Was it Rick? No, it wasn't him. I think it was Chucky Brown. I think we did all that for Chucky Brown. So there's that. Ben Simmons makes the All-NBA first team. He did drop 45 in a game this season. There's that. Averaging 27 and 10 with six assists this year. So he's becoming way more of a scorer. And we made this the eighth seed, which is garbage. But I just want to check. He was the uh, fourth highest scoring leader this season after Michael Jordan, Drazen Petrovic, and David Robinson. Above Patrick Ewing by a whole point. But uh, Patrick Ewing's team is playing him in the first round. He's playing the Mavericks. who have Kenny Walker starting at his former position. They also have Rolando Blackman on the uh, Mavericks again. And the first round, we're going to get washed. Yeah, it's over. Mavericks just won a fourth straight ring with Mark Aguirre again. Patrick Ewing, whatever. All right, Mahmoud Abdul Rayouf will definitely save us. We also have 31-year-old Danny Ainge now. David Robinson, most valuable. NDPOI, John Starks, most improved in Chicago. Ben Simmons, All-NBA first again. Average almost the exact same numbers, exact same rebounds and assists. A little bit 
bit worse from the field and we're the eight seed yet again absolutely no improvement L let me guess first round exit there it is what a decision to leave the team that is now on their fifth straight championship man what a guy this game never uh you know these game this game these players within the game they never fail to impress me oh, wow ben's actually at 93 or 20 jesus he's only 25 still john williams most valuable player what is this possible ben simmons 22 points this year he averaged worse stats except for assists maybe that's a good sign that we're actually good this year nope we went up one seed we're playing dallas again wonder how this will end sweep 97 overall patrick ewing six straight ring definitely not a good ben simmons look this team is so boring again he did it again clyde drexler defensive player of the year thing i didn't expect definitely ben simmons all nba first team again you're good buddy but uh did, did we get any higher this year F fifth seed i mean 50 wins is actually better than the fifth seed that should be the third seed but divisions are stupid so uh we we actually made it oh wait never mind we're about to lose to the first seed yep there we are did the mavericks break up the mavericks must have broke up entirely because they are not even in the playoffs patrick ewing left the mavericks i don't know where he went we might find out soon but i guess every good thing has to come to an end mark aguirre left too but he might just be old john williams finals mvp he actually beat hot rod williams in the finals one hell of a storyline he's on a team with tim hardaway and carl malone and he's the mvp uh, i don't know if this was recent ben simmons just re-signed to a four-year 20 million dollar deal he must just like the weather down here so actually we were in texas what what, what changes isn't phoenix weather supposed to be garbage any of you live in phoenix or arizona ben another all nba first team and another mid fifth seed appearance lost in the second round to sacramento and tim hardaway is the finals mvp this year but you know probably carried by the actual goat where is he did they lose him they lost the mvp i, I don't i forgot what his name is wait what's his name i don't know michael jordan wins an mvp i forgot he even existed Scotty pippen dp oh, wait wait they weren't on the they're on the same team oh john williams is still in the kings i don't know what i was talking about ben simmons all nba second team and also uh yeah scotty pippen and mike are both on the clippers who are slightly better than us in the conference and will probably make it out of the first round unlike us we lost sacramento again john williams again i really don't know how this has happened i i don't even evan garnett won rookie of the year and six men of the year so there's that ben all nba second team again and the sons of the second seed with 63 wins what changed what happened nothing i don't know we lost in the first round nothing changed at all we lost by three points i just clicked you know simulate because i thought we'd win we lost to akeem lodge won the lakers tim hardaway finals mp again what is going on with these dynasties right now look at this L look at this four straight from them five straight from us from the well from the mavericks six straight i mean three from the lakers another one from the lakers another one from the lakers obviously from real life so far i have no clue if ben's had actually any impact on this league except for existing and being part of those two ring teams and i guess winning a finals mvp but there's also that tim hardaway most viable player he took the award from his teammate and alan iverson rookie of the year with the knicks averaging 33 in his rookie season 33 points and simmons again the most consistent all nba second team mediocre basketball player ever how has it only been five is he moving like in slow-mo hold on because how is he only 30 how has it only been five years since i said oh he's 25 still what what is going on he's 13 years pro and 30 years old is that even i don't know we're just gonna keep it trudging on whatever we lost in the second round to the lakers i just expect losing now at this point chris rubber racking on mvps now tim duncan rookie of the year now with the knicks he joins Allen iverson guess those 30 points went to no, not many wins kobe bryant most improved player in toronto and moses malone's now the coach of the year so you know long long time coming ben simmons has regressed to the third team all nba still averaging the same numbers for the past 20 years and phoenix is the first seed the phoenix suns to be fair when you look at this roster this is a very good roster hershey hawkins is here now i guess we traded uh i don't know one of the boring players that was on this team we traded for him we have way too many guards he's actually one of the only good big men on the team dominique wilkins is here and very old but that's a good addition as well so yeah first seed in the conference can we make it to the third round for the first time in centuries no we lost we lost in five games ben simmons at 22 and 10 he, he upped all of his numbers in the playoffs but at least up his scoring but uh yep there we are see ya and chris weber finals mvp ben simmons so far in this video has been like with all due respect uh like demar Derozan, except he was supposed to be better because you know you think in the 80s he'd be better because there was less good people chris weber most valuable vince carter rookie of the year and ben simmons still ben simmons uh most points he's averaged since 91 so it's his first points of the whole decade basically most points i should say and we're back to the fifth seed and lost in the first round again hooray mediocrity and jesus what just happened to the team where did all the players go on the basketball team i don't know i'm genuinely how was okay well he's 33 now but like i'm like yo how was he drafted in 84 it's about to be 2000 and he's still 33 i guess it makes sense kevin garnett's gonna win himself an mvp Scotty pippen a dpoy him and jordan never won a ring together so there's that same duo no results and jordan's now on the lakers instead of the clippers and ben simmons made no all nba teams this year 
And we did not make the playoffs. I don't know where we were. We'll see after the season because it wouldn't have mattered anyway. So we weren't going to win anything. Chris Webber, here goes another dynasty. We got the, um, oh, oh, we traded our pick and it was 11. We have some dude named Tomas Forbes. Jesus, how many years straight are the Knicks going to have the first pick to get Ivers in and then Duncan and then Kenyon Martin? Seriously, the, the Knicks had the second pick in 95 to get Stackhouse and they had the first in 96 to get Iverson, the first in 97 to get Duncan, the first in 2000 for Kenyon Martin, the sixth in 99 for Sean Marion. Just racking up talent. I think maybe one year was left out there. I don't know. I don't know if they got anybody in 98 unless I said that. Gary Payton, sure. Why not? You could have MVP. Why not, buddy? Patrick Ewing's still around doing whatever. Ben Simmons back on the LNBA second team for no reason because we already know. Um, we we were 27 and 55, maybe even the worst in the league. Who knows? The Miami Heat win the championship led by Carl Malone in 2001. My God. Suns get the second pick, but I'm not going to lie. First of all, this is 2001, which is a, I mean, I wouldn't say garbage draft, but pretty garbage. Pau Gasol, that was the one player I was hoping they'd maybe draft. Him or Gilbert Arenas, and they got Pau. But uh, Ben's a free agent, so he might just leave. Ben Simmons is a Laker, officially. Michael Jordan has went to the Bulls after all this time, but Ben Simmons is going to LA. And so is, who is that? Carl Malone. Sure, why not? Screw it. Move a little bit more to the West. Ben Simmons and old Carl Malone, old Kendall Gill, old Antonio Davis, old Rod Strickland, who's weirdly not getting worse, and hell, old him. All the top six guys are over 32 years old. Lakers, we made it. We're the fifth seed. Sure, great. First round, we lost in three games. There it is. Yet again. Mavericks are back to champions. Led by Shaq. Carl Malone retired. So uh, there goes that. Patrick Ewing also retired with six championships. All right, we're in the Kobe era. Kevin Garnett, most valuable. Yao Ming's a rookie. Tony Parker's the most improved player. Ben Simmons is still an All-NBA third team player because that's, yeah. Seven seed against Dallas and we already lost. I already know it. Yep, there it is. And we even play, we, already, we even play five games now or four, whatever. Kobe Bryant, finals MVP with the uh, Toronto Raptors beating Paul Pierce and the Memphis, Paul Pierce and Ray Allen in the Memphis Grizzlies and Elton Elton Brand and Larry Johnson and Bryant Reeves back in Memphis or whatever. Vancouver, Memphis, whatever he was at. And there he is. Uh, Tyrese Halliburton's biggest enemy, Wally Zerbiak, had more points than Kobe in game seven. And Chauncey Billups and who, I thought that said, uh, what's it called? Carl Malone, but it's Kenneth Monroe. Michael Jordan is just going on a world tour. Michael has played in Washington, the Clippers, Philadelphia, the Lakers, Chicago, go the Clippers again and now he's going to the Knicks. Gracie McGrady most valuable. Carmelo Anthony rookie of the year. What's good about these rookies? What crack did they put in these rookies cereal? 32 points 50% from the field and you're he's on the Pistons too. Look at that. The the Everything happened how it should. Lamar Odom oh, speaking of crack in the cereal. Ben Simmons ain't make no teams where the fourth seed still. I'm pretty sure he's still in the Lakers and I'm pretty sure he's still losing. Gilbert Arenas finals MVP. Jesus Christ Ben retire bro. Just call it quits. I, Michael Jordan just retired for the love of God. He averaged 18 points this season uh it's gonna be real interesting to check out where he is on the all-time leaderboards because he just gets a bunch of stats in every category for 25 years or something oh ben found his way out of la he's in miami now warmer I, I warm weather again i don't know he hasn't went up north ever and he's with jason kidd who's basically just short ben simmons with more dog gilbert arenas now is an mvp if only that one team had drafted uh him over over yeah um, over pow yeah whatever pow wow ben ain't making no teams he's a geezer and miami is the first seed watch us losing the second around to philadelphia i'm calling it yep just lost every game after i said that average 17 11 in the playoffs please tell me oh he's retiring it's over dropped 17 in his last game and got smoked Sixers win a ring sharif abdul rahim sure and that is it ben simmons the oldest man here 21 years pro 38 years old over his career he averaged 21 points 10 rebounds six assists 58 from the field 20 from the three-point line 68 from the free throw line just imagine how many more points he could have had if he shot well from free throw 125 triple doubles 945 double doubles started in all 1722 games scored a career high of 50 points he finally beat that record as pager dropped 60 in a game this season hit two three-pointers 16 free throws 22 rebounds 16 assists six steals five blocks and i'm about to just simulate to the hall of fame because you already know he has to make this to say that he had uh zero mvps 19 all-star appearances two championships one finals mvp four all nba first team six second team five third team three defensive second team one rookie first team and that's it and now for the uh, meat and potatoes of all this his all-time records because well he definitely played a lot of years to get a lot of these ben simmons listen to me closely ben simmons is second most all-time in scoring granted he's second after michael jordan who played one less year than him and also um was in the same exact draft class so you know i'm saying exact perfect comparison yet he scored nine thousand less points than jordan but he's still second most ever more than kareem abdul jabbar and akeem and david Robinson and Reggie Miller, Patrick Ewing, who already retired. He had more points than all of these guys. Second most field goals made. Uh, I'm not even going to scroll on three pointers. Actually, I want to see how many threes he made. 
total after this. Is he going to be up here at any point for, uh, oh, there he is. 24th most free throws made despite shooting 60 or 50% from the line. Rebounds, he's sixth. He had more rebounds than David Robinson, Elvin Hayes. To be fair, David Robinson's probably still playing. And Charles Barkley, another draft class member. Assist, he was also sixth. More than Michael Jordan on this stat. I did see that he averaged one block per game, I'm pretty sure, so that he shouldn't be too far. There he is, 32nd. Steals, he, he should actually be pretty high up. Yep, 11. He was first all time in minutes with 2,000 more than Jordan. Sixth in turnovers, actually not that bad because he had 1,000 less than Mike and was usually, you know, the passer of the bunch. And yeah, that's that. And I also wanted to see one last thing. He hit a total of 77 threes out of 376 attempts in his career. And he missed nearly, I mean, not enough to catch him up to Jordan, but he missed almost 3,000 free throws. So yeah, that's it. That was Ben Simmons starting in 1984. Let's try and gain four subscribers on this video in the name of Byron Scott. And it's been real. It's been fun, but it ain't been real fun. Cut.